welcome everyone to our panel discussion about whether a mask can help during this pandemic. I'm your host, Simon Richards. For panel number one, we got Dr. Annie Lee from WHO, who will explain to us today why masks are necessary. Or panel number two where we've got Mrs. Linda Baker, an environmentalist, who will explain to us not to bother. Wanna know what's best for you? Stay tuned. So, we've prepared a series of questions that hopefully can point us in the right direction. Both panels, are you ready? Ready. Ready. Let me start with panel number two. Why are you against wearing a face mask? First of all, it is not helping the environment. There are 7 billion people on this planet, and if each of us wears one and throws away a mask every day, we are not only killing the future generation for our garbage, but also our dear planet. People are not responsible enough. First is plastic, and now, masks are becoming our biggest enemy. We may not feel it right now, but soon enough, we'll be haunted by the tons of rubbish we're throwing away. With all due respect, Mrs. Baker, I understand your concern about the environment, but if the virus continues to spread, and if people continue to die, no one else would care about the planet. I recommend saving ourselves first, and then we protect the environment. We will need a healthy body and a sound mind to take care of the rest of the world. As for the rubbish, all we can do is educate our countrymen to be more responsible in disposing of their masks. I don't like wearing masks at all. We are blessed with oxygen and we are meant to breathe it. Wearing masks suffocates me. Besides, my face gets irritated by the constant wearing of it. What's the use of skin care and makeup? Madame, you have another alternative. Why don't you stay at home instead? If you don't like wearing masks, you can still save others by isolating yourself. Right, so you're the one who's giving us choices now? When actually, if only WHO controlled the disease from the beginning, it wouldn't have become a global pandemic. If only you were doing your job right, we wouldn't have to discuss wearing masks. But you were standing here in front of me today, telling me what and what not to do. Why should I listen to you when you've lost your credibility? We're doing the best that we can, and I must admit that there were shortcomings in our part. We've underestimated the virus, and indeed, we downplayed it. But it doesn't mean that we can no longer save you. We aim to do a job right, and asking people to wear masks is one way to execute it. Thank you very much, ladies, for this helpful insight. Now, let's head to the next question. How effective is wearing a mask? Many kinds of research and experiments have proven that wearing masks helps avoid the virus. One example is the laser light scattering experiment from the National Institutes of Health. They used lasers to illuminate and count how many droplets of saliva flung into the air, by a person talking, with and without a face mask. By using a simple cloth face cover, nearly all droplets were blocked. We've seen many super-spreading cases connected with activities, like singing in enclosed spaces, that create a lot of droplets. That's fascinating, Dr. Lee. And yet, there are also other experts claiming that these droplets you're talking about are not solely responsible for spreading the virus. Actually, no one is sure. In fact, the only thing wearing a mask does is to make us feel in control of the situation. We're also ignoring the real issue here. Isn't it true that this virus is your way of controlling us? You feed us the information. You tell us to stop working, to stop moving, to be imprisoned and get crazy in our own homes. We've locked down for months now, but has it stopped the spread of the virus? No. COVID-19 continues to spread with infections and fatalities spreading each day. How does your mask really help? Not to mention, we've lost millions of jobs already. Mrs. Baker, all we're asking is for you to listen to the experts. This isn't the first pandemic we've encountered, and for sure, we will survive this, like the ones we had before. If you don't care about catching the virus, then how about your friends and family? 
Wearing a mask is a simple way to do your part in protecting others, and by wanting their protection, it shows that you respect them. Thank you, both of you. Now, we're on to the last question. Can you still catch the virus even if you're wearing a mask? Masks are useful as source control. But you could still catch the virus through the membranes in your eyes, a risk that masking does not eliminate. Come on. Why don't you just say it? If we wear a mask and continue to believe in this COVID-19 bullshit, the pharmaceutical companies and hospitals would earn a lot of money. You I'd like to reiterate that putting on a face mask doesn't stop the virus alone. Aside from avoiding crowded spaces, we recommend taking care of your body, and you can do that by regular exercises, and eating a balanced diet. Don't forget your vitamin C too. A little discipline and good hygiene can get us far. And hopefully, soon enough, we can slow down the virus, and we can all go back to our normal lives again. May that come true, Dr. Lee. That's the end of our discussion. Thank you, everyone. It has been an exciting topic. We hope that this helps our audience in choosing what's right for them. Stay safe, everyone. And stay home if you've no important things to do outside.